so hi everyone and a very good morning to all of you welcome back once again to another class of pib 247 my name is manish mishra and in today's class guys we will be talking about the pib news from 11th to 12th of june 2023 and the exams are now around the corner the phase one 9 july 2023 the d day so i hope the preparations of for the upcoming phase one are going well and I could see that uh, many of you are not watching the government schemes session. Last class, I don't know the reason. Uh, maybe you guys are thinking that the initial 3-4 sessions are only the important ones and uh, question so it's not like that. Because the RBI has the tendency to ask questions from any government scheme. Right? They ask questions from any government scheme. It's not only that they ask questions from the schemes in news. Wo purani schemes mein se bhi kai bar questions put chuke, right? They have asked uh, questions from the old schemes as well. So I would suggest you to uh, go through those sessions as well. And yeah, regarding that uh, G20 compiled video, compiled video. So this week you'll have that video in which we'll be talking about the entire uh, things about India's G20 presidency, all the meetings and their locations, right? So you have to stay tuned for that. Uh, most probably this week, uh, definitely this week, uh, you'll get that video. Okay? So let's talk about today's class and let's talk about the very first question, guys, which says, what is the name of, very important question, what is the name of online dredging monitoring system launched by the Ministry of Port, Shipping and Waterways to accelerate its waste to wealth initiative? So it is a, actually an online dredging monitoring system. First of all, what is the meaning of dredging? What is the meaning of dredging? Dredging is the removal. Dredging is the removal of sediments. Dredging is the removal of sediments and debris from the bottom of lakes, rivers and other water bodies. So that is the meaning of dredging. And for monitoring of that dredging, uh, the Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterway has launched an online monitoring system. Right? The name of this online monitoring system, guys, is Sagar Samriddhi. What is the meaning? Sagar Samriddhi. Right, and it has been launched by Ministry of Port, Shipping and Waterways. The objective of this, of launching this system is to accelerate the waste to wealth initiative of the Ministry of Port, Shipping and Waterways. Right, which organization has developed it? It is very important. It has been developed by National Technology Center for Port, Waterways and Coast, which is the technological arm of this particular ministry. Okay. And it will bring in synergy among multiple input reports like daily dredging report, pre and post dredging survey data before processing and producing the real time dredging report. So it is all about the dredging, uh, the, the dredging and monitoring of the dredging in the lakes, water body and, and other water bodies reverse, right? So what will be the correct answer? The correct answer will be option A, Sagar Samriddhi, right? Because that is the online dredging monitoring system. Question number two, when has Ministry of Information and Broadcasting launched Antarashtri Yoga Divas Media Samman to recognize instrumental role played by media in disseminating the outreach of yoga both within India and abroad? So it was launched, I believe, in the year 2019. But why it is in news? Because the Antarashtri, Antarashtri Yoga Divas Media Samman for the year 2023 has been announced, right? And that's why it is in news. And these awards recognize the instrumental role played by the media of this country in disseminating the outreach of yoga across the country, right? Now talking about these Samman, so the objective is to acknowledge the positive role and responsibility of media, how they are uh, enhancing the reach of uh, yoga across the country. Ministry is the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting for it and not the Ministry of Ayush. Please remember this, here we are talking about media. So, the ministry is not the ministry of Ayush, which talks about yoga, but the ministry is the ministry of information and broadcasting, right? It was launched in the year 2019, but the first uh, edition of the awards were conferred in the year 2020. Those are the first awards. Now, for this year, 33 awards will be given in three categories. Number one, best media coverage in yoga in newspaper. Number two, best media coverage in yoga in electronic media. Right? And best media coverage in yoga and electronic media, radio category. And 11 awards each will be given in all these three categories. Right? So that is all about it. 
सो वट विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर टू थाउजेंड एंड नाइनटीन ऑप्शन डी बिकॉज इट वॉज लॉन्च इन दूजेंड एंड नाइनटीन क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री With which organization has ICAR signed MOU to empower the farmers? Very important question. इसमें से phase वन में question आपके आ सकता है So ICAR has signed the MOU with Amazon Kisan. Amazon Kisan, right? Now why this MOU has been signed? Through this MOU, the the organizations, both the organizations will combine their strength and they will create synergy, right? For guiding the farmers on scientific cultivation of different crops. right how the farmers can use science in cultivation of the crops this will be taught to the farmers and this will of course uh, enhance their yield and income right so what will be the role played by icar icar will provide technological backstopping to the farmer through amazon's network and what will amazon do amazon kisan will you know provide training to the farmers it will provide training support and assist farmers in marketing their produce through its very famous online platform all right so that is all about this mou and in every mou you just have to read uh, two three things number one between uh, which organizations the mou has been signed number one number two the objective of that mou and if there is any uh, special uh, thing about it right so what is the correct answer amazon amazon is the correct answer question number 4 Which of the following organizations has released a report highlighting the impact of Har Ghar Jal program on public health and economic savings? Actually, ये report बहुत लंबी चौड़ी है. This is a very vast report, so you don't have to go into the details of this report. We will do uh, that part only which has been provided in PIB and the important newspapers. That's it. And in PIB, actually, they haven't provided the impact of Har Ghar Jal program. They have provided what used to happen. बिफोर द लॉन्च ऑफ जल जीवन मिशन इन दू थाउजेंड एंड ये बताया कि कितनी खराब हालत थी 2019 से पहले तो ठीक है हम भी वही पढ़ लेते हैं नो प्रॉब्लम बट अगर क्वेश्चन आया एग्जाम में तो रिपोर्ट की डिटेल्स में से नहीं आएगा द क्वेश्चन विल बी दिस ओनली विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज रिलीज द रिपोर्ट हाईलाइटिंग द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ हर घर जल प्रोग्राम ठीक है जी तो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट इट इज डब्ल्यू एच ओ वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दिस कमिटी is commissioned by the government of india and it is it it has highlighted the impact of har ghar jal program right and i hope you all know har ghar jal program to provide tap water connection to all the rural households by the year 2024 right so the report highlights ki agar hum baat kare to the report focuses on the diarrheal diseases right it focuses on diarrheal diseases because the diarrheal diseases you know are the most significant among all the uh, water related that deaths theek hai as they contribute significantly to the overall disease burden related to water sanitation and hygiene or in short wash issues its analysis underscores the urgent need right urgent need to address these diseases and the potential for substantial gains in public health and economic well being to so, inhone diarrheal disease ke upar focus kiya hai hai इस रिपोर्ट में और ये बताया है कि भाई हमें डायरियल डिजीज के ऊपर फोकस करना पड़ेगा एंड वी नीड टू डू समथिंग अबाउट दैट राइट आगे चलते इन 2018 बिफोर द लॉन्च ऑफ हर घर जल प्रोग्राम राइट 36 परसेंट ऑफ इंडिया टोटल पॉपुलेशन इंक्लूडिंग 44 परसेंट फ्रॉम द रूरल एरिया लैक एक्सेस टू इंप्रूव ड्रिंकिंग वॉटर सोर्सेस इन देयर प्रमाइस इन देयर हाउस होल्ड इन देयर घर राइट Direct consumption of unsafe drinking water had severe health and societal consequences, and not only this. In 2019, unsafe drinking water, along with inadequate sanitation and hygiene, contributed to 1.4 million, 1.4 million deaths and 74 million daily globally. What is daily? Dis uh, disability adjusted life years. Disability adjusted life years. Right. this is the data before the launch of jal jeevan mission it estimated that ensuring safely managed drinking water for all could avert 4 lakh deaths caused by the diarrheal disease prevent approximately 14 million deaths related to these diseases and also it, it, it would result in estimated cost saving up to 101 billion dollars 101 billion dollars ki cost saving ho sakti thi 
विच इज नाउ बींग डन थ्रू द हर घर जल प्रोग्राम और वी कैन से जल जीवन मिशन और राइट नाउ विमेन रिलेटेड कंसर्न भी इन्होंने बताया है बिकॉज देखो हमारे देश में पहले ऐसा होता था कि महिलाओं को मटका लेके अर्धन पॉट मटका इज दी अर्धन पॉट सो दे हैड टू यू नो कैरी दी अर्धन पॉट टू टेक वॉटर टू टेक ड्रिंकिंग वॉटर फ्रॉम अ प्लेस विच इज यू नो विच यूज टू बी अराउंड वन किलोमीटर और टू किलोमीटर और टू पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम देर हाउसेज सो दिस इज अ वेरी पिटिफुल सिचुएशन एक्चुअली दिस वॉज अ वेरी पिटिफुल सिचुएशन एंड विद जल जीवन मिशन द सिचुएशन इज इंप्रूविंग हाउ एवर हाउ एवर इसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि अब हर घर में हमारे टैप वाटर कनेक्शन आ रहा है अभी भी बहुत कमी है बिकॉज आई वॉज देर यू नो आई बिलोंग टू बिहार सो वहां पर अभी भी जो मेरा नेटिव प्लेस है वहां पर अभी भी टैप वाटर कनेक्शन नहीं है राइट सो ऐसा नहीं है कि दैट वी हैव अचीव ऑल द टारगेट बट ये धीरे धीरे आगे बढ़ेंगे सो वी आर इंप्रूविंग एंड लेट्स सी हम कहां तक पहुंचते सो इन टू थाउजेंड एंड एटीन वेमेन इन इंडिया स्पेंट एन एवरेज ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव मिनट डेली कलेक्टिंग वॉटर टू मीट हाउस होल्ड नीड अराउंड वन आवर ठीक है अराउंड वन आवर डेली लगता था पानी जमा करने के लिए सो विच इज अ वेरी यू नो बिग नंबर ओवरऑल हाउस होल्ड विदाउट ऑन प्रमाइस वॉटर स्पेंट सिक्सटी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मिलियन आवर्स ईच डे कलेक्टिंग वॉटर देख सकते कितना सारा मैन डे इस्तेमाल हो रहा है इसमें If this man day would have been used for any other purpose, we could have created a, you know, great asset, right? कुछ और हम इससे create कर सकते थे. Majority occurring in rural areas. इसमें से majority का किसमें rural areas में ही है. And universal coverage through tap water provisions will result in substantial savings by eliminating the need for daily water collection efforts. ठीक है. So these are all the pointers which have been highlighted by the WHO through its report. and actually these all the pointers are all the pointers which were provided in the pib release right so that is all and therefore the correct answer will be option a who who is the correct answer now you have to tell me who is the director general of who and where are the headquarters of who write down in the comment section let's talk about the questions in short now questions in short pe aa jate hain but before that if you guys want to have the pdf of this class You can join the Telegram channel. The link is provided in the description. Question number five: Where is Ministry of Electronics and IT organizing Global Digital Public Infrastructure Summit as the side event of third meeting of G20 Digital Economy Working Group? Can you identify this place? It is Pune, which is in Maharashtra. Option A is the correct answer. Question number six. And guys, one thing which I want to say here that. Uh, These questions in short, don't underestimate these questions. इनको underestimate करने की जरूरत नहीं है आप लोगों को These are also very important for your examinations. ठीक है Because these days the जो जो level है ना examination का वो बहुत गिर गया है वो कुछ भी पूछ रहे हैं तो when they are asking anything, you have to prepare everything, right? So और यहीं पर difference create हो जाएगा between those who will clear this examination and between those who will not. अपनी preparation करते वक्त For any examination and a budgeting mat kiya karo, right? Don't go for only the important things. Don't go only for the relevant things. Your preparation should be holistic in nature, right? Jo exam nikalte hai na, wo kabi bhi budgeting nahi karte. So if you have that attitude of not going budgeting, then only you will clear this examination, right? So question number six: Which oil marketing company became first in India to successfully launch pilot study on vehicles using E27 fuel? And ethanol blended diesel fuel. Can you name this company? It is HPCL, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited. Question number seven: Which state has signed power sale agreement with SESI, Solar Energy Corporation of India Limited, to purchase 600 megawatt of wind power from SESI under tranche uh, 13? It's 13, 13 of ISTS, Interstate Transmission System Connected Wind Power Project Scheme. So, ये थोड़ा टेक्निकल है ये आप चाहो तो इसको आप इग्नोर कर सकते हो जस्ट रिमेम्बर विच स्टेट है साइंड एन एग्रीमेंट विद से टू बाय द सिक्स हंड्रेड मेगा वॉट ऑफ विंड पावर राइट द स्टेट इन क्वेश्चन इज ओडिशा ऑप्शन ई इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर एट विच ऑफ दॉलोइंग है साइंड सेकेंड प्रोक्योरमेंट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट थ्रू इनोवेशन फॉर डिफेंस एक्सीलेंस आई डी ई एक्स विच इज एन इनिशियटिव ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डिफेंस फॉर यू नो uh indigenization of the uh, products uh, related to defense 
for procurement of indigenously developed tactical land radio so this uh, agency is indian army option b is the correct answer question number 9 which ministry has organized the 17th national webinar on child labor as part of observing world day against child labor to empower children to reshape their future by liberating them from the shackles of child labor can you identify this ministry please do not get confused uh, the answer is not ministry of women and child development the answer is the ministry of law and justice which has organized this campaign that's why i have taken this question question number 10 where has ministry of environment forest and climate change organized a save wetlands campaign in continuation to world environment day celebrations to sensitize local youths about mission life lifestyle for environment and for saving wetlands this was organized in baksar baksar you must have heard of battle of baksar where is baksar baksar is in bihar option c is the correct answer question number 11 which union territory had launched nutri garden project in 2022 to make it self reliant in production and supply of vegetables very important question it was launched by lakshadweep in the year 2022 option b is the correct answer and right now it is in news because they have provided certain uh, success stories of this particular uh, mission project not mission project question number 12 ministry of ports fishing and waterways has laid the foundation stone of coaching fisheries harbor worth 169.17 crores you don't have to remember the number it is being funded through grants from which of these so the funding has been provided through pradhan mantri matsya sampada yojana which we have recently discussed in the government scheme session through sagar mala project scheme and from the private partners so all a b and c will be the correct answer question number 13 very very important the flagship sagar mala program of the ministry of ports fisheries and waterways is leading the maritime development of the country with how many projects 802 projects worth 5.5 lakh crores to be executed by the year 2035 right so this is the correct answer 802 5.5 lakh 2035 option c and the last question for today with this capacity building commission uh, organizing the first national training conclave with an objective to foster collaboration among civil service training institutes and strengthen the training infrastructure for civil servants across the country this conclave took place in the capital new delhi option a is the correct answer all right so that is all for today i hope all the questions and their explanations are clear If you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and yeah i will see you in the next class on friday goodbye take care and god bless